Here we are, beautiful Saturday morning. I'm down here with young Max today. We're yeah, just planning to do some easy fishing with pan and oscar roots. Bit of squid, bit of pilchard. Hopefully we get a few. It's nice conditions down here. Oh, got one mate. There you go. Oh, not bad fish. Yeah, it's good fish. Keep your tension on. Nope. Keep your tension on. Yep. Got young Max on the one here. Felt like an alright fish when I took it. Looked like a good salmon, is it? Oh yeah, nice little fat salmon. That's what he was after actually. He was after a salmon this morning, so it's good to get him on the one. Bloody beautiful, mate. Oh, Trevally! What a ripper of a Trevally! That is awesome. Big silver trevally there. Got him in the shallows actually with a short little cast hooked in there. Good work, Max. That's an absolute ripper. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Hold him up, mate. Get you a little... Yeah, awesome trevally just off the beach. Look at that. It's awesome. That might be one for the table, mate. He's a impressive looking fish we'll get a measurement on him yeah get a measurement i might get my real camera out and get a picture there so you know what the difference was there mate yeah. i did a very small cast so i only just cast i was trying to get away from those crabs so i did a very small cast yeah. and i think that's a go keep it out of that deeper water I've been loony fishing. Yeah, I felt some bites. You might want to check your bait too. No, baited too. <laughs> We've been loony fishing, mate. Sitting there with no bait on. Both of us. I thought I felt a little bite. Yeah. I think we checked our baits. Alright, you can have this one, I'll swap him. There we go this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what getting our bait, mate. Oh, you could use that <laughs> I could. These bloody sand crabs, I forget what they call them. He's actually eaten my hook. That's unbelievable, look at that. He's eaten the hook. How does, he, how does that even happen? in his mouth, the hook. <laughs> oh, well. I've got another crab on a crab. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one's bigger. He's got nippers on him, that one. Oh, nice. These crabs are... Do you want me to wind it and check? Hey? Do you want me to wind it and check? <laughs> You've probably you got your bait too, who knows. <laughs> There's so many of these crabs down. We can't even get a bait out, it's ridiculous. Bloody crabs killing us. But, at least it's a fish, a bit more variety. Fat little one, actually. Watch them, they've got big yeah. spikes, man. These blue spots, they got nasty spikes on them. Get off, mate. Hold that for a sec. What a fucking Yeah, just a pig of a flathead. Landed on his head. The saving one, eh? What we're talking about? I might have to get this other line out of the way for you. It's hooked onto something massive here. We're on our last bait, pretty much. Time was running low and 
sumps just smash that. Good fish. A lot of weight there. Max go, he's going all right. Big fish, mate. It's coming along the beach there. Might be a big salmon or something, though. Swimming fast. Swimming real fast. We got here. Big. Real big. I'm gonna get a look here in a sec. What do you got, mate? Where is he? Oh, he's up here. Oh, big salmon. Huge salmon. Whoa. Look at that. On the last bait, mate. The last bait. Look at that. That's a big salmon, man. All right, let's get a measurement on that baby, eh? <laughs> right on that high tide. Right on that high tide it was. Bloody hell. Leave that rod up there. Just leaning against that esky. Pick that up, man. Can I get a little picture with you of that? Big salmon. Got him. Pretty awesome. Look at that. What a fish. Let's have a little look see. Oh no, not quite. It's close to 60. Whoa, 58 or something. 59 is he. Yeah, 59 almost there, mate. Get and get your camera, yeah. get a picture of him. Beautiful day guys. There you are. You got the you got the spare fifty dollars. Send your kids fishing with me. A few hours fishing. Have great fun. And chances are they'll get PB. I've taken out Max a couple of times and both times he's got PBs. 81 centimetre flathead last time. Trevally PB this time and a salmon PB this time. So get them out, get some out of the house for a few hours and yeah, they have great fun. They get some trophy fish. They got a chance of getting the trophy fish anyway. Let's go ask young Max how he went. But yeah, they always have good fun. They always have fun. Um, it's good to um, get them out of the house. What do you reckon, Mac? You have fun, mate? Yeah, it good. You got your PB, Trevally and salmon today? Yeah. Good stuff, mate. Yeah, we had a good time. Just a few hours of that peak bite time. It's a little bit slow this morning, but you've still got some good fish, which is always nice to get a couple of fish, especially when it's PBs for the young blokes. Morning, guys. Out of here at my favourite fishing spot, Nora Head. Lovely spot. Always do well here whenever I'm here. And we're going to be chasing some snapper today. A little bit of a westerly up a little at the moment and a tiny bit of swell one and a half meters 1.7 i think so it's going to be a bit of a battle today we'll see how we go but i always do well at nora we always catch plenty of snapper I'm planning on using some plastics i'm going to give this one a go in the rod holder i reckon that'll go really well the rod holder just sitting there and i'm going to put out a floating bait as well just a whole pilly three quarter pilly and i got a Panonoska rig if it gets a bit deep and heavy, we can drop a few rigs straight to the bottom. Hopefully they're all right too. So a bit of riding. We might even hit the bull with some, um, trial some lures around later. Soft plastics as well. We'll see how we go. Plenty of options. All right, let's get into it. I'm on. <laughs> well, that took five seconds. Yeah. There you go. Spotted some birds working and I threw the lure out. That's why you've got to keep your rods rigged up, guys. Yeah. I had a spinner rigged up on this one straight away, threw it straight out. It feels like a bonito, which is what we want. Top snapper bait if we can get a few bonitos straight up. What a start. Haven't even hit, hit anywhere yet. Just spotted a bird diving in front of us and bang, straight on. Straight on, a lot of swell here. I'm gonna have to watch it. But it feels like a bonito, those tail kicks. Very familiar. Tuna kick. Yep. 
swim and weep. I'm running 20 pound setups today. I do have one 8 pound setup, but mainly 20 pound setups. Yeah, nice little bonito. Beautiful top bait. Top bait, that's what we want. As you can see, I've got Matthew with me today. Greenhorn on the boat. We're going to give him a run, see how he goes. But yeah, top bait, look at that. That's what you want. Awesome bait. I'm the typical spinner that kills it. Oh! Oh, it's just a big lure. <laughs> it's backwards. Yeah. Doesn't work really good there. Oh, I'm on. Well, on the retrieve there. On the retrieve, I've hooked up. I knew the was just said we we're gonna stop and do some casting because I saw some foil up and I was winding in and yeah, bang, straight on. Feels like another jump bonnie. It's good. Some good bait here. Oh, it's Taylor. Oh no, it's a salmon. Oh. <laughs> Funny salmon. <laughs> Just goes to show everything mixes in with these fish around these headlands. Nice fat salmon. Jesus, healthy. I can hardly hold on to him. He's like a little football. Keep him for bait. Dolphins coming up here next to the boat. Scared the shit out of me, actually. Look at that. Look at them. Scared the crap out of me, it did. They're checking out at us out, that's for sure. Yeah, go away. <laughs> they usually scare the fish away, so you don't really want them hanging around the boat. Look at that. Look at that for presentation. Nice big hook for a big snapper. Got a few different types of plastics today to try. Got a decent weight on, a half ounce. So we'll see how we go. I'm just going to sit him in the rod holder. Nice big strip of bonnie straight up. I find that whenever I chuck these bonito skeletons in, the sharks come straight away. Obviously they've got plenty of smell. Big strip on for a floater. pound trace on this one. Running pretty hard, eh? Sorry. Current's running fairly hard yeah. this morning. A little bit of weight to get you down, all right? Yeah. Have a feeler with a Pananoska. See what's on the bottom. I don't even know if this sinker's gonna get me down there, but... Oh, oh I hooked up on a good one here. I was just having a bit of a yap. <laughs> That's always the way. Having a bit of a yap about something and... We've got wallops, just a chunk of pilchard on this one. Feels like a nice snapper, actually. A bit knotty. I've been working for this one. I'm struggling this morning, but I'm just getting a bit of burly in the water. I'll show you that actually. I get a chance. I'm using the old rabbit pellet soaked in tuna oil. Ah, yeah. Always works wonderful, that nice cheap burly. This feels like a good eater. Nice snapper, it feels like. Oh, we've got a bit of colour here. Oh, no, it's a. Yeah, it's a. 
No, snapper. Yeah. Nice clean snapper. Oh, that is a beautiful Eden size snapper there. Yeah, isn't it? Look at that. That's a little pan size. Beautiful. Perfect plate size. So about 40 centimeter size, I suppose. But it's that kilo, a bit over a kilo, 1.2. Beautiful Eden size. So I'm going to slash him in the gills and brain spike him. And that's my dinner. That's beautiful. There we go, beautiful snapper. And that's about 1.2 kilo, I suppose. That 40 centimetre size. Look how clean he is, beautiful eater. I'm gonna prep him up for the table, but yeah, beautiful colours on him, check him out. Probably got the wrong light, the light's behind me. It's all dark, but anyway. Put him on the ice, get him prepped up for the table. And that's what I'm using for Burley. Just rabbit pellets soaked in tuna oil. I'm not even touching it, I'm just shaking the bucket every now and then over the side and it's working. Bringing them in close, it was quiet before we got here and they're starting to bite now. Yeah, very colourful fish but oh god he just destroyed the camera. His tail, yeah I think the Aussie slang name is the butcher's prick they call him. Very colourful, look at the colours on him. Some people enjoy eating them. There you go. Sorry, it work? Oh, oh, nice, oh, nice snapper. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, nice snapper here. They're always nice when they take line like that off the start. Look at him go. Oh, done me. That was a good snapper. Might have snapped me, not quite sure there. I think he may have got me on a reef. Bugger, that was a good fish. Yeah, he took that top hook. Oh. <laughs> I caught that. Oh, he dropped it. I caught something on the way in there. Are we still on it? Oh. <laughs> I'm hiding my strip in and some made it. Oh. Wasn't expecting that, it's been out there for ages, this strip. And I just started trawling it in and bang. Oh. Where have we got to go? Yeah. It's growing, it's growing. Where have we got to um, Benito, good, a bit more bait. Bloody beautiful, a bit more bait there, hey. awesome. Am I? Oh yeah. yeah oh, oh, nice snapper you feel. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to come off the bottom, this could be trouble. This could be trouble here. Get off there. Oh, doesn't want to come up. Feels like a nice snapper. Not as big as that other one, but he's close to it. The other one was pretty big. Let's see if I can hold this one on. Yeah, it's a nice snapper. Good head nods. Good head nods. Bigger than the last one, I reckon. Could be getting up to that 55, I reckon. Oh, that hook's feeling a bit dodgy in him. Oh, well, he's tangled in a little something. Doesn't feel good. That must be the colour there. Might be a bit tangled, maybe that's why he's carrying on. Nice snapper. Nice snapper. Oh, bloody beautiful, look at that. Bloody beautiful. Ooh. Isn't that that 50 centimetre size? Ooh. Look at that, gorgeous fish. I'm just trying to catch a light on it, but yeah, beautiful fish. Got that 50 centimetre size, that's two in the esky, dinner is sorted. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I didn't get any. Oh, oh he's on again. <laughs> the pack of snapper comes along. 
Oh, you can get carried on. There's likely another 40. Another 40 odd. There's a few come in. Oh, Bonnie at work would be happy. She was hoping for a couple of snapper. Yes. I said there, I'm going off Nora. You want a couple of snapper? They always, I've never not got an esky for when I come out. Yeah, yeah alright. Okay, another nice little snapper. Bloody beautiful. They're all bloody beautiful size. <laughs> all perfect plate size. $20 fish, mate. In the shops. Hey. More, $25. A little bit of early. Might have a trevally. Or a bonito. Bit of a tail kick going on, like a trevally. Or a bonito. I don't mind trevally. Oh, yeah. Trevally. A silver Torelli there. Let him go. I've got one of them from yesterday. It's Maddie on his first fish. Has he got a keeper? Oh, he's died off. Oh, just, a just a small snapper. Maybe the smallest of the day. Would you for one of them? <laughs> the old Sergeant Baker. Oh, I had a feeling what these bastards would be getting us. Big ass sweep. Huge sweep. I got a feeling there's a horde of these under us. They're giving us a hard time at the moment. Good bloody size sweep, but they're solid. <laughs> Looks a bit better. More weight than the last one. What are you calling? Snapper. Snapper? Yeah, it's about the same size again. Oh, they release. Save you unhooking him. <laughs> talking about the move so that's what happens you talk about the move and then they all decide to come on the bite another 40 odd by the feel of me yeah another 40 that would be full of my burley, I reckon. See that? Yeah. I reckon that's full of that burley we've been putting out. Yeah, my smallest one of the day, that is. really good eating but I'm happy with snapper. Yeah. They're a nightmare to clean. Ooh. What have we got this time? I feel overly big. Ah oh, nice little snapper. These are a bit roughed up down here. I don't know what's going on with them. Some of these look like they've been belting against a reef. Yeah, a couple of marks on them here and there. Here we are at the bull just off Nora. I'm just going to go floating three quarter filtered. No sinker. Lob it out there, let it sink down. Good chance of picking up some rats. Rat kingfish, anything really, that natural floating bait down.
Whoa, look at those fish boiling up. Look at that. My baits, my baits are around there, but they're all salmon, I think. But under them, you'd suspect kingies. Let's see if I can this They're all salmon. I'll bring my filter in, because I'm going to hook up straight away here by just free spooling. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Here we go. can't believe they're not eating that pilchard. They've really got eyes for that smaller prey at the moment. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Always great fun. Always great fun, the salmon. Oh, yeah. Awesome fun. Look at that. Look at the whitewash. It's alive out here. Look at them all. Yeah, well, they're a bit of fun, aren't they? Yeah. I might actually put a few in the smoker when I get home. Something different. <laughs> Got some beautiful colours on these ones. Look at the spots on them. They're beautiful colours. Really nice colours on these. Like the big trout salmon. <laughs> Just came to the pool, there's tons of these guys around. I'm gonna smoke a couple when I get home, so I'll bleed him up, I'll prep him up right, and we'll have a smoke up when we get home, something different. A bit of salmon in the smoker. I might actually prep a few different meals up. But always important, prep them up right, and they'll eat really good. All right, nice simple setup. Look at it. Simple setup, three quarter pilchard, five o hook. Let's lob it out. It's not taking long. Back out there. This shouldn't take long. Got the floater in amongst them. Let's see what happens here. Oh, oh, he dropped in. All right, he'll come back. Taking it again. He's on again. <laughs> they are thick. They are thick down here. Woo. Oh, they're great fun. Oh, there's two for the smoker. That'll fill the smoker up. Good to see Maddie and the few here. Bonito, I think. Give me all sorts of curry. Yeah. They go hard, eh? <laughs> the little fish. Get up. Nice bait. There we go. That was a good little bit of fun. It wasn't that good of a session out there, but we got onto some snapper. We probably got about 10 keeper snappers. Kept about five, I suppose, but geez, I lost a big one this morning. That was a real good snapper, what snapped me off. Would have been a good 65, I reckon, maybe 70, who knows. But yeah, it was a good day out here, really nice day. Bit of a westerly, but not too bad. But I'm going to do a cook up in the smoker when we get home, and I may do a few different dishes. I may do a feed G and dish actually, with lemon and coconut milk. I'll see how I feel when I get home. But Got a nice little selection of fish there, so I'll take them home and I'll prep them up. I'll put some in the smoker. Appled. I don't know if that means it's from an apple tree, but you'd assume so. Fruity flavour, mild intensity, good for fish, chicken, pork. So we'll give it a go. Got the smoker cranked up. Haven't been firing it up too much lately, so it's good to get it going. We battled to get it going. I wish I got it on camera, actually. Jason set his hand on fire. That was pretty entertaining. Petrol went everywhere. How's your hand, mate? That's why I'm holding the can. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a few burn marks on the lawn here. I don't know what happened here, but it was pretty entertaining. As I said to him, I wish I had the bloody camera on. As soon as he went to tip the petrol, I said, you're brave, and the can caught on fire. 
and off it off he went it was pretty funny anyway we'll get this fish in here and the wood chips and have a smoke up with the salmon it should be nice oh she's getting hotter already yeah beautiful get those wood chips in there oh we don't want that in there we'll get that out She's already getting pretty smoky. Yeah. That'll do. We wait till that smokes up. We get the fish in there. Load it up. See, that salmon's been sitting for a couple of hours now. A bit of salt and brown sugar on that. It was a good serving of salt and brown sugar. Jesus. I'm going to struggle to get in here. Looks like the handle's going to be... The handle's gonna be hot. Oh, she's smoking already. Doesn't take long to get some heat in there. This thing. Oh no, that wasn't a good result. That wasn't a good result for straight up. But anyway, we'll get back to that. Intense cooking this is. I have to get those tongs, I'll be back. Threw a fish a bit far there, but like it's alright. That's why we keep the scales on the fish anyway, in the smoking process. That's a good idea. It um, protects the fish. And you just peel it off once it's finished. Alright. That was bloody hot. I look like Jason, I've taken a few hairs off my hand there. <laughs> I highly recommend when you when you're using these to let the flame die down a bit before you attack. But me and Jason are pretty hungry, so we're going to get into it. Cowboys. We're going to leave this for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Cause it's salmon. It's a nice thick fish, and we'll give it a good smoking so it dries out a bit. Be good. We'll flash back soon. All right, we're going to check it out now. It's been about half an hour. Should be cooked by now, I reckon. Oh, look at the colour on that. I'll tell you what, it's certainly got a smoky colour to it. That is ridiculous. We've also got a piece of bonito in here. That'll be interesting to give that a try. So the good thing about smoker is all these fish, what you normally wouldn't eat, turn out really beautiful. The oily fish, it actually helps in the smoking process. And keeps keeps it more moist. Oh, it's falling apart, so you know it's cooked. Get that little bit of bonito out too. That'd be nice, I reckon. Jason with bloody burnt fingers here. <laughs> oh god. I made a meal of that. But anyway. Look at that on there. Alright. Give it a little taste test. Okay, right, let's just eat it right here, right now. So we've got a bit of look look at the display. I've I've totally muffed it. But anyway, try the bonito. So this is normally baked fish, really, bonito. Look at the whiteness and the colour on it. Give it a go. <laughs> Beautiful. Just like that. Baked fish has turned absolutely beautiful. So if you don't catch any, eat the bait. Like beautiful. All right, we'll try the salmon now. I totally destroyed that one of them anyway. We'll have a go at the salmon here. As again, regarded as a bit much of bait fish to salmon. Smoky, smoky, smoky finish there. <laughs> Bloody beautiful again, there you go. 
This is living, guys. I tell ya, life doesn't get any better. Catching in your free feed, cooking it up in your backyard, having a couple of drinks. It's bloody beautiful. Having a couple of lemonades, I should say. But that's enough there to feed. I'd say eight people. So good feed there. Do whatever you want: crackers, sandwiches. Eat it like that, finger food. Get into it. Why not? Easy smoking, easy eating. Alright guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing. I'll see you on the water. Catch it.